All right, today we're gonna cover um, frame inspections and what to do, what to look for, and what even is some of that stuff. So we're gonna dive here into one of our host to hives, which is a program that we actually rent beehives. Um, walking towards right now, it's right over there. Um, but I'll get my suit on and let's get into it. So we're gonna dive into the hive here now I got my suit on and uh, take a peek and see what these guys are up to. I've not opened this hive since we uh, installed the bees. All right, so we're gonna crack this guy open. Try to do this with one hand. on the cover. This looks pretty good. Alright. I'll open this thing up here. So, first things first is when you open up the hive, you, depending on how many uh, frames you've got, this is a 10 frame, which is the most common. I like to pull out um, frame number two here. And I'll explain why. So in this case, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five new frames in here. And in this case, we're probably gonna get kind of lucky here. And so I'm gonna open this up. Lots of brood on this. So when I open this up, what I'm looking for is the queen. And as I'm doing that, try to... So all of these little caps here, this is capped brood. And in this case, they're bulgy because these are the drones. So the drone cells are popped out a little higher. And so we'll see if we can find a drone here on this frame. actually don't see any and then all these bees working up here this is all capped honey and so normally they have a brood nest and then capped honey around it and it's so they can feed them and so I'm gonna try to get us in here so you can see in like these two right here those are eggs these are larvae waiting to be capped um, and so here you can see more eggs right over here. So right there is like a little larva that has just hatched in the last probably four or five days. And then these are the eggs. And so being there's an egg in there, we know there's a queen in here. And so I'm gonna actually put this frame back. And the reason I put the frame back Gotta make sure it's, and it's good to keep an idea of orientation on these. You don't want to irritate the bees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull out this frame here. And the reason is, is I need room to work. So I'll get this frame out. Hopefully it doesn't hit the camera here. All right. So they haven't done anything on this yet. They've just been walking around on it. Normally you will not find the queen. So I'm going to set this aside right in front of the hive. We already inspected this one. This one looks real good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go frame by frame. And as I'm done with them, I'm gonna put them here. And this way the queen can't jump across. And so I'm at looking for the queen. So there's her queen cage. So this is what she originally came in. She's obviously hatched out of that. We gotta get that out of here. 
But here's another, so this is all brewed right here, all capped. In fact, you can see one starting to come out right there. She's starting to emerge. And this is flat, so this is all worker brewed. There's a couple bigger ones up here, so there are, I guess, some drones up there and a little bit of honey. You just see it right there in the corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here. Again, all cap brood, bunch of larvae over here. You can see it. But we're looking for the queen. So we flip it over. I mean, we know she's in here. There's eggs in here. So she's at least been in here in the last two to three days. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back. and I'll pull it tight to here. And now I know that by sliding it this way, I know that I've already worked it. And once again, the queen can't jump across. It's a lot far less likely. So again, all brewed, some honey, not seeing much, um, Oh, here's some pollen right here in the middle. You can kind of see the colors there. I'll see if we can zoom in. Yeah, so that's all pollen right in there. Okay, we just dip them in. Not see the queen on that one either. But like I say, I don't necessarily need to see her now that we know there's eggs in here. And I haven't seen any queen cells or queen cups, so that's good. That means that they don't feel too crowded. This is look, I mean, this looks pretty good. It's kind of spotty, but there's a lot of um, brood in between. This queen's doing a pretty decent job. And so all of these are workers. This little fuzzy one right here, that's a newly emerged one. They, they have a tendency to look kind of fuzzy or hairy or blonde. Yeah, look at the other side here. All right, so I got the queen here. It's kind of in a tricky spot. There she is right there. So there she is right there, crawling around on the edge. It's going around the other side. She's being shy. Okay, so I don't know if you can see her, but she's right there. You can just see her butt. She is right there, right there in the corner. You can see she's big, she's long, she's got that shell cup. Pretty easy to, to, to distinguish real big ones like her. We're gonna get this one back in there. It's got brood, so, and it's a really windy day, and we don't want to chill that brood. We want it, them not to dry out as well. So at this point, 
we've seen her, there's eggs, there's larvae, there's pollen, there's honey, there's nectar. Oh, this one's really in there. Um, now we're just kind of looking for queen cups. See, that's a perfect, really nice looking brood frame. Nice and tight and compact. Honey, honey, honey. And then all this shiny stuff right there, that's nectar. So once it hits 18% or more, they don't, they will not cap it until, and this is capped honey up here, but it won't look like that until that hits at least 18% or less water, water content or moisture content. And so, I don't know if you can see this little girl here, but she's just being born. Try to zoom in again. And there she is, right there. She's about, she'll be born today, and her first job is to be a nurse bee. So, this hive looks really good. At this point, I really don't need much more information out of this hive. At this point, I just kind of want to see where they're at. I mean, so as you go out further from the center, you're going to start getting brood, which is what this is here on this edge. Zoom back out. So all that's some brood and some drones, and then this is all honey. So yeah, so we look at, so some more honey in there. So we look at, so at this point, I'm gonna push these all back together. You know, and their population's doing pretty good. So we can get that other frame in here that I left out. And then, I'm gonna get this guy out of here. So now, so now I need to get the honey super on. It's, this hive's ready, there's no queen cells, there are no signs of swarming. In fact, there are no queen cups. I wish there were, just so I could show you what that looked like. Um, and, and, you know, definitely subscribe to the videos, or to my channel, or the channel, I should say. Um, and there'll be some videos showing some queen cells and queen cups, so uh, if you need an example of that, uh, we'll definitely be able to provide it. But um, this hive's doing excellent, and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this honey super on with the queen excluder and uh, the queen excluder prevents the queen from coming up. You saw that kind of nice shell on her. She, because of that, she can't get between a queen excluder, uh, these little cracks in the queen excluder. And so uh, she is confined to the brood box where she's gonna lay eggs there, which is great because we don't want eggs and brood in, in the section that we're gonna harvest the honey from. So. Um, I'm gonna get these on here real quick and then uh, we're pretty much done with this inspection. Um, Honestly, that is about as big of an opening as you really ever need. Um, some people go bigger than that, but it's really not necessary. Um, I think it, in some research, um, in fact, Tom Seeley did some research on uh, preferred hive openings, and it was around two square inches is what a beehive preferred and so if you look at that one that's probably i would guess one and a half square inches maybe two two maybe a little more than two i guess i need a tape measure but they really don't need much more than that um and the reason they don't need much more than that is it really stresses them out trying to defend their hive if it's a big opening this way the less stressed the bees are, the much easier they are to manage. And so 
uh, you know, try around or mess around with your hive openings uh, with your hives. But I found that if you keep it around that two uh, cubic inch size, or not cubic, two square size, uh, that seems to work best. So thanks again. And like always, hit the darn subscribe button, hit the bell. You get notified of videos like this. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye now.